The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. A number of years ago, I saw a story, Hafa de Kamaisa. It's a young lady from America. <clears throat> she grew up somewhat traditional, maybe a little religious, officially orthodox. After she finished day school, high school, whatever, she slipped and she slipped and she slipped more and more and more until she had cast away any possible observance of Islam. And she wasn't doing anything from. And, uh, but she wanted to go to Israel on a trip. You know, they go on a trip. So <clears throat> she decides she's going to go to Israel have a good time. She's going to Israel to have a good time. She comes to Israel and she's having a good time. And she, from kind is the last concern on her mind. And one day, I think it was in the street, she's walking the street, and she sees a year the Hasidic Yid. And she saw on this year that there was Oiske Gosnaf and Panim, like a year of Shemayim, that was like Hafla Fella. Maybe because he looked away, I don't know exactly what it was. But she became very inspired. She saw this Hasidic Yid, and it blew her away. She became very inspired. And she said to herself, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's time for me to start thinking about my spirituality. Maybe it's time. She would, the story was written by herself. I, saw, I read, this is the first person account of the story. And, and it gave like a hero tshuva, which by itself is pretty miraculous. <laughs> to see someone who's from suddenly and to travel shtikla cheshek, fine. So she starts to go to classes. She knows she's the best place in the world for classes. She starts to go to classes. And she's going to classes. She's enjoying and she's growing. She's growing. She's growing. But still, she's not a hundred percent yet. One day, she gets a, a, a call from a friend of hers. A friend says, a friend from America says, "I'm coming to Israel." I'm not coming to Israel to go to Israel. I'm coming to Israel because I'm going to Egypt for vacation. You want to come along? She says, when are you going? She says, I'm going on Shavuos. We're going to go to Shavuos. We're going to go on vacation. Okay? She thinks to herself, you know, I talk about coming from, but it's not the worst thing in the world, you know, like, uh, I'm not looking at Talmud Torah. Shavuos is learning. Whatever, have a rationale. She may not remember exactly the rationale. And she decided just for a few days to have with a friend to chill, to blow her mind a little bit. Fine. So, they get up, Arshuas, they travel to Egypt. They come to a resort, a beautiful, gorgeous resort, beach, the blue water, Amish, beautiful. And before long, she's forgotten all about her commitment to Yiddish guys. <laughs> she's on the thing, ter- unbelievable, the, the beauty, the, 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 fine. She spends a lot of time on the beach, not a lot of peach, Shavuos. And the second night of Shavuos, she's on the beach and she's lost in thought. And she's thinking to herself, she's thinking to herself, what happened to her? Look, just a, 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 a few days ago, she was on a growth path, and now she spends Shavuos, she spends Shavuos on a thing. Fine. So she's laying on the beach, and suddenly someone comes over to her. A man. And he starts a conversation with her. He says, where are you from? She says, New York. He says, oh, me too. What are you doing here? He says, well, I was in Israel. He says, oh, you're Jewish, the man says to her? He says, yeah, I'm Jewish too. So the man says, you know, tonight's a special night. She says, yeah, I know. You know, it's Shavuos. She says, yeah, I know, I know. And the guy walks away. She says, why did Hashem send this guy? And she gets a pachad. She gets very frightened. Like a kilo of And she says, you know what? I have to get away from here. And she starts running. She gets up from the beach. She starts running. She's running and running and running. She's running and she sees a, a, a gentleman and the gentleman says, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you in trouble? An English, American. She, she says, no. He says, well, you're running. He said, you wouldn't understand. He said, well, try me. He said, well, I'm Jewish and it's Shavuot. He says, I'm Jewish too. As a matter of fact, he says, I came to Egypt because it's Shavuot, the man says. He says, what do you mean? She said, there's a theory out there that Mount Sinai is in Egypt. You know that? Not only that, this place, this beach where you are, some people say that that's Mount Sinai. By the way, I don't think it's, it's so Shiloh. The best guess is that it's somewhere in Saudi Arabia. Whatever it is. And that right there, she said, that hill. They said, it's, so I came here to spend the time by the mountain and read Torah. Are you interested? She said, yeah. And they spent the rest of the night... <laughs> Sitting by the mountain, he has a whole bunch of books laid out, and they're learning Torah. This is a story. I'll flick a story. <laughs> so after which she writes, she became from, after that she went back to Israel, she came from, she, from family. 
So she writes, she said, look at this, look at this. I made the effort. I'd given up on the effort. But you make the effort, you give up on the effort, you still have something there. The Ashbo was there. And she meets some guy, I don't know, I hope he was normal, but... <laughs> And he's coming to Har Sinai to learn Torah Shavuos. It's, don't give up, ever. I- Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.